Hello, everybody. It's Tony and Scout. We're going to do a little patrol. I'm going to take up skiing. It's the first time in a long time, and it's a new rig. I'll show it to you in a little bit, and we'll get started. Hey, Scout. How you doing? You ready to go? Well, let me get my gear. Now look at this Subaru. Oh, man, it's filthy. It's great. Love the Subaru. Okay, well, what do we start with for our new gear? I got these boots from City Garage. They're not exactly cross-country boots. They're Alpine Touring because I want to get some heavy-duty stuff to be able to go with Oliver. After I get these boys on, we'll get the skis out. Well, I got the boots on. It was a little trying the first time in the cold. It took about 10 minutes, but after I do it the 20th time, it'll be five minutes. Here's the skis. They are from skiboard.com, and these are Summit Marauders. They're 125 centimeters long. They fit in the back of the Subaru. Here's our adjustable leaky poles. Here they are. Short and stout. I've got to have skins on them. They're really not meant for snowmobile roads unless it's steep. But they'll be great for skiing with Oliver and Artie for the next few years. I won't use them regular for here. I just have to get out with Scout. The boots and the binding are from City Garage. And these are called shift bindings and they work for alpine touring or downhill skiing. They did a great job. The service is great. I'm happy with skiboard.com and the city garage. Now we got to put the skins on these bad boys. Well, the skins are atomic skins. They were pre-cut just for these ski boards. This is the first time I've ever put them on. Oop, I've got to take the sticky stuff off, Ty said. That'll take me a little bit, folks. Well, getting those mole skins on was a little harder than I thought. But, considering I didn't practice, it was the first time. That's great. Let's put them on and get skiing. Woo-hoo! Well, I'm going to try going up this. These aren't the fastest things on snowmobile trails. But I got them to go up the hill. And of course, my battery's dying now. Well, after about a mile and some uphill, my first impression is that with the mole skins, they're really not that good on the flats especially since it's packed with the snowmobile trails. But if you get in the powder, it goes uphill like four wheel drive. And coming downhill without the mole skins, it flies. We had about, oh, maybe eight inches of fluff. I'm out of shape. Talk to you next time, bye. Well, here we are, Josh and I on the lift. Hi. And uh, we're following Oliver and Sarah up here. They got off the lift because it didn't stop. And this is my first time with my Marauders 125s downhilling. Ooh, it's going to be exciting. Oh. Ah. 
There's Josh with his big O Tech on. Sarah and Oliver are right down here. Okay, well. There's Oliver and Sarah and Grandpa going backwards. There ain't no need in looking down. There ain't no six pack on the ground. And here we are again with the Marauders. Woo! I'll follow you, Josh. All right, going up. Oh yeah. Summit Marauders, 125s. Oorah! Oorah, the Summit Marauders. Well, I've only got a couple hours on them. Some locally here in the back country with the skins and some on the golf course. I actually put a mile on the golf course with skins on, on a snowmobile trail. Only do that if necessary. But if you put the skins on and you've got some powder and you've got to go uphill, these things are great. I'm sure you could carry a backpack with these. 
or a polk sled pulled behind you if you wanted to go do some winter camping or a base camp. And then I went downhill with them and uh, these things turn far faster. It's been 20 years since I've downhilled, so uh, I'm gonna take lessons in the future here because uh, these are really great skis for the downhill. They turn so easy. I was doing uh, 180s without even thinking about it and falling on my face. So all around these are gonna be a great ski. I think you could even put skins on these and go hunt snowshoe hares. They're very stable when you have the skins on them uh, for the backcountry type stuff. They have, uh, their metal edges are extremely crisp and sharp. And uh, the only downside I find to that is that my dog Scout runs really close and I'm worried that he might get caught. But that's more, uh, I need to train my dog to stay away from me when I'm out with these. So, all around these are a great choice unless you're gonna go golf course skiing or try skiing in the coal banks. But uh, I'm glad I invested in these. Thanks to City Garage. Thanks to uh, skiboard.com. I really like these. Be safe, everybody. Take care.